What up, boys? We're back with another review. This review is Bethane Plane versus Malzar. Jenny, baby. Uh, thanks for the follow, bro. I appreciate that. Kenna is weak level one. Yeah, Kenna is weak level one. Not really possible to start E against Malzar anymore, except if he really walks really, really up. Uh, because of the low HP now. Okay, so yeah, just see as like he said, I would like to start Q. Yeah, the minion, there it is. Start Q gets the minion. Just play safe. So as you can see, he's not letting it push that hard towards him. He's kind of matching the push. What does that mean? When he's trying to match the number of minions he has to the number of minions Malzor has. So it doesn't push too fast. It kind of stays neutral, but he still gets level 2 uh, earlier, like right here. But then Malzor is going to get it as well, right? What rank is this? Because Malzor... Okay, it's D3. Okay, that's why. Okay, so as you can see now, he gets the slight push after that to get level 2 first. I mean, Malzor could have got it, but... He just did an auto attack that much, I don't know why, but okay. It's really good now because the way he's playing this <clears throat> is he's gonna get level 3 on this wave right here, and you could actually kill Malzar if he plays it really, really well. Right here, right? E. There it is. Auto, auto, keep Q. Exactly, he's doing keep Q. That's really good. Look for an angle. There it is. Q. W flash Q. Ignite. There it is. W flash Q, auto ignite, and grabs the kill. I mean, that was really perfectly done. I mean, there's no other way you kill Malzor there, except the way he played this whole overall everything. Like, he literally waits for this uh, minion right here to die, so he gets level 3. He walks up when it's near dying, so you have the range of the E. You have now the range of the E. You E, and you don't Q right away. You keep your Q to get the autos in. Proc electrocute. Back off like you want to back, like you want to go, uh, you want to trade again, then you walk up again. You hit the Q. W. You flash all the way nine and grab the kill. I mean, that was just really, really clean. I mean, the, I don't think you could play that entire thing any better. Like, that was really played to perfection. Um, now it's gonna bag it the dirt. You use TP. That's actually really good. Most Arnold Sums. And this is where this matchup becomes really easy if you get a lead early before level six. If you get a lead early before level six, this matchup is actually not that bad. But if you don't, it's actually pretty bad. The mistakes people do against Mazar is they let the Malzar push into them for free early on. Uh, it's kind of a mistake because it's going to slow push to Malzar after and it's going to be safe. So what you want to do is do exactly like he did this game. Get uh, even early with the CS and then you start getting prio. Alright. This can flush over the wall. Hits the E. Hits the Q. Echo will start the E on the minion. Look how well he's playing this right now. It looks like he's trolling. He's not trolling at all. He keeps... The Q and the E for Mazaria. Yeah, that's so smart. Auto EQ and grab the kill. That was just so clean. I mean, that entire play again is just played to perfection. There's been, other people would probably auto EQ at least in here, right? But if you do that, you don't get the second kill on Mazar, and he has a chance of dodging your Q because of the W, right? <coughs> I mean, yeah, there's not any way you could play that entire thing. I mean, I think this might be the best Bef end game I've ever seen, to be honest with you guys. And it's not even like because it's D3 or whatever, like he's actually playing out of his mind right now. Like, I don't think you could play that any better. The way he's playing it right now is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Let's speed it up a bit. Nothing special is going to happen here. There you see, so he's roaming bot. He pushed the wave and he just roamed bot. The ADC blue flash heal or what? I think she did, yeah. Flash, yeah, flash. No, Probably no heal as well. Probably running exhaust and running barrier. I mean... Yumi goes out. Combo her. Oh yeah, I'm kind of confused right now. I thought Yumi could go out and go back in. Why did she go back in? Uh, why are we not pushing? I mean, that's clearly an end. Like, that's really bad what he's doing right now. He wants to leave the CS for Kalista, but I feel like that's not the best play that could have been that could have happened here. Like, he should have pushed the wave in my opinion, so Kalista can go mid instead of going bot. I, I kind of understand because maybe it was a bit too late. Yeah, I think it was a bit too late. I think he's actually right then because Kalista was like here. She didn't go mid. If Kalista goes mid, Echo could clear the jungle. So he benefits from clearing jungle. Kalista takes mid and he takes bot and everyone benefits more. But it was actually mispositioned by Kalista. Miss Marco from her coming in. Unlucky. So not bad. Okay, now he's level 6. He has a level on Mazal for sure. Yeah, there it is. So he's level 6. Mazal is level 5. As you can see in the runes, he actually went back for Ravenous Honor. Which is interesting. I definitely don't think it's recommended though. Definitely not. Yeah, he could definitely dive. So what the play is, when you have Malzar like that, and he has his passive, and you have a knight that's coming up, you want to use your a knight to break his passive, and then you could one-shot him. Because if you use a spell, you're going to miss out on damage. Right? 
So look at this. Malzar is going to probably walk up. He's probably going to ignite him. And Malzar is going to feel like a, a, a save. A, that is, ignites ER auto QW2. And then we're the kill. I mean, really well done, to be honest. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I don't think the R was needed here. Like, if we look here, I think that's probably the first mistake. I mean, it's playing it safe, right? You want to ignite QW auto EQ, and I'm pretty sure he's dead. That you could see also there with the R9 was overkill. I'm pretty sure it would have killed him without using ult. But I mean, it's definitely safer to use ult. I'm just saying, I, I think I think it was possible. Uh, let's speed it up. There's nothing going on. And I'm just taking plates. He's going to back grab Prowler. I mean, this is where it becomes really spicy now when you have Prowlers like that early on. Like, really, the guy had Prowlers at six minutes. Like, two plates? Three plates? Yo, that's crazy. EQ, kind of bad angle on the E there. He's really trying to break the shield. There it is. So he breaks the shield, but now we could dive. Yeah. We need to do it fast and do it really efficiently so Mazar doesn't get six on any minions and then counter the dive with his ultimate, right? Let's see. Let's see, he's talking about it too. Like right now. Like right now. Like right now. Like right now. Probably like right Scott. Auto E2, WQ. Well done. I mean, he kills Lee in here. I would just fight here. You just kill him, no? Auto Q, W, yeah. Let's dodge a Q. Oh no. Uh, I feel like it was kind of misplayed here. Like, I think he should definitely just turn sooner, to be honest. I mean, he's talking about the E of Lee Sin, but Lee Sin just used it here, right? Uh, so I think that's a mistake right here. Like, uh, right here, I think you should just turn it. Like, right here. Like, just start turning right away. I'm not pretty sure you win. Like, auto, 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 QW2. Like, Lee Sin is dead 100% because you have lost him as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have killed Lee Sin 100% there. I think that's misplayed. I think the turning was a bit too late, especially because Lee Sin's not 6. You gotta start realizing, especially if you're low elo, like you don't have to turn when your spells are up. Like if your spell is coming up in like two seconds, like just just turn, like start turning, right? Like he turned when they were. I don't know. That's kind of. I'm kind of surprised he didn't turn earlier, to be honest. Because even if he listen misses the Q, I don't even think he won. He wins that. I don't know. Let's speed up. I mean, we should look for the same play here, honestly. Just look to break the shell and then look for a dive. The thing is, it's kind of tricky now because he has ult, so you gotta really space yourself properly. But we see him top lane. So I would just like here not to roam and just take the plates here. Like that's the play. Don't drop Rift mid. Please don't drop in mid. Okay, thank God. I feel like if this was D3 and E, people would definitely drop the Rift here. It's not worth it because you could just get it manually, right? You're just using Rift for no reason. I mean, Malzar is coming from... Yeah, it is. Malzar is here. I mean, I would like to see an EQ here to break the shield. I'm kind of surprised he didn't do it there. So he thinks Lee Sin's hovering? I don't think so. We just saw Lee Sin top die, no? Okay, there you go, straight. EQ breaks the shield. WR Prowler Scott cancels the ult. I mean, that was really well done. And you see, when I was talking about spacing, this is exactly what I'm talking about right here. Right? He keeps out of range, and when the the moment he could enter the range of the ultimate, he uses his R right away. So if Malzar ults, first of all, he gets knocked back, so he cancels his ult and he gets stunned. And also, if Malzar just doesn't ult, I mean, he just gets hit by the R and he's just dead, right? Okay, we are dead here. Nice flush. Okay, nice, we're not dead. I mean, this is not flush, yes. I mean... Does this have flush? Because that, that's the risk he's doing right here. Oh my god, if this can smite that uh, minion, he's dead. He's just playing with him. He's two points in W. I don't think he's gonna max W. I think you need a second point in W if you play Kiana mid because otherwise it doesn't clear the minions. You live it like one HP, the back lines especially. So you need like it's another point in W. That's my experience playing Kiana recently after the nerfs. Oh, when you need, oh, let me remove that. So yeah. Uh, I think you need to max E now. Let's speed it up. It's going for you moves. Oh no. Wait, what was that? Wait, what happened? I missed something. EQ? Oh. Oh no. 
I mean, what we would look for here... It's not bad, because Mazar flushed and ulted. But I feel like the spacing on the E could have been better. Like, right here, when, when, like, when that... Okay, so we cannot... You gotta use your E's not just to go in, to also escape. Like, right here, when this thing chooses that, you want to walk just a bit behind here, so you could E towards him, get more distance. Then you W I's and you stun him, right? Like, the E here was just not utilized. I mean, it's still not bad, because Mazar blue flush, but... Okay, let's speed it up. This is triggering me. It's, if the volume push just goes bodily. I don't think should dodge should just go in, I think. Use Prowler, that is. Wait for a W. Really, really, really well done. Auto, I mean, she's dead. EQ auto, she's dead. It's nice. I really don't think Revan is that good, though. I don't know, man. I mean, really, uh, like, I'm pretty confident that Relentless is better than Ravenous. Like, I'm pretty sure. But uh, at the end of the day, it's preference. Like, whatever he likes to do, like, just do that, right? He's gonna wait for Bali to come again. Uh, Bali might go top, so I don't know if this is the play, to be honest. Oh, they came back actually. Why? Well, that's on lucky timing. ER auto. Oh, that was a fast. Com that was a really late at night. I don't think she was watching your screen or something. Nice, just a double kill. I don't think Sabrina was watching the screen. Because if I mean that could be dangerous if the Sabrina is good and dodges uh, the ultimate with the W. Because then she has exhaust and you have no R and you just die. I think. So this seems pretty good. Uh, he's dead here. 100%. Either E, nice. You, you know what? Like I said earlier. They would brush it? Oh no. I would have taken brush here. I don't think walls that good, to be honest. I should get some great damage on this skin. Flashy, flashy too. Nice. Oh, never mind. I take it back. He hit her. He hit her. Use the E. W Prowler's Claw. Oh no, she flashed away. I mean, she's dead. I mean, this is where uh, Ravenous would be. Is just kind of one v nine right now. With all those types, right? Roska, auto EQ, nice. I mean, Fira's still in the bush. Keep in mind, she's still in the bush. EQ. Oh, oh, feels bad. I honestly think even Ultimate Hunter is better than Ravenous. To be honest, I mean, he has ult. He's just running in. Uh, she has mana for parry. Oh, that Q hits. Oh, wait, what is she doing? ER? That is ER hits. Oh, he has time to dash it away. That's unlucky. Pantheon could have stunned. But even if Pantheon stunned, I don't think they have damage because it's Pantheon support. Wait, what? Oh, it's Pantheon top. Never mind. They have damage. Borg, Pantheon. Yeah, yeah, they definitely gotta kill Lee That W works on every single auto attack for uh, Borg when they, uh, they build that with Pantheon. Okay, so he drops this. This is his build right now every game. Okay, we do seal it. Makes sense. They all heal. Speed it up, it's gonna group mid. I mean, it's a pretty great game if you want to learn, in my opinion, this one. Like, playing perfectly and also doing mistakes. Breaks the shield. Goes back in. CC, W, EQ. For the second kill. Nice, that should Q. Someone should go ball here. EQ, W, Q. Doesn't hit anyone. You could tell if you hit it, even if it's out of vision because of a uh, presence of... <coughs> Sorry, Prince of Mine. What was that? What is that noise, bro? What's Beffing doing? Someone working in his house or something? Not even having to know. Oh, what is that noise? First got auto EQ, I mean that was really well done with EQ. Nice. Itor, 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 Nice, ours. W, auto EQ. Oh. Oh. Okay, so here's the thing, right? So that was good. Now you definitely want to focus Lee Sin because Lee Sin is damaged, right? So this is good. Now here's the thing. 
Uh, uh, that's a mistake. Like going on Mazar right here, like you should just wait CD around. Like just run like here or like run down. You know what I mean? I mean this definitely won't be nine though. It's really good though. That was really good. Okay, he has grudge now. I, I don't know about grudge turn some games. Like, I don't think grudge is bad. I just think there's better items maybe sometimes in different type of games. Like this type of game where you have a Pantheon and Callista. Like I think Black Weaver is pretty good. Um, we are. There it is. Nice. We are here. Triple R coming in. That was really good. It's a kick here going. E. I think that's ulting top. Nice ult here coming in. W2 grabs a kill for her coming in. She has vision. Somehow. Release him. Nice. That's really good. Nice in EFF. I mean, that was a really clean game. If you want to learn, to be honest. I'm definitely uploading this. I mean, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.